So, welcome back guys for the last part of my voice commando uh, tutorial. And um, we've seen the in-game video and now I want to show you what happened inside. Um, therefore, I uh, made a new profile which I called Macro. And uh, within this uh, profile I put all the commandos which have been operated during the video. Um, as you know, we started uh, with setting up some kind of board computer and uh, I used uh, the name for my board computer, which was Susie, and I used the German word Danke, which means thanks in English, and I let him do some text-to-speak uh, commandos then. When I say Susie, it says yes. Let me open it and you see it's a very short one. I did it with a click on other and then I let him perform say something with a text to speak and put inside the word yes and said okay and that was all and the same thing happened when I say the word danke he said you are welcome commander um, by filling up uh, such commands you can uh, set up some kind of board computer and uh, that gives you the option when you're flying through open space or when you're in fight um, just to raise the feeling of immersion like you have a real board computer um, within your ship. Um, the next thing I showed to you was uh, multi-part commandos <coughs> which means uh, that you have uh, one button on your keyboard and uh, you press it more often and uh, the button operates um, there are some different uh, tasks like uh, light on and light off but uh, you don't want to say the same thing for uh, this button press because if you want to test the light system and you want to turn on the lights and you say lights on um, you need to press the O key and when you want to press the O key again for turning the lights off you have to say once again lights on this is uh, not real and that uh, it's not so nice. That's why we use multipart. Multiparts are very simple. Um, in the top uh, line you add uh, the words you want to speak to your uh, voice command. And I used Licht an in German, lights on, and Licht aus, uh, which means lights off, and separated these both commands with a semicolon and a space press. So uh, the program does now uh, the following. Whenever you say Licht an or Licht aus, he will press the O key for uh, 0.1 seconds and release it and he gives you text-to-speak uh, feedback by saying done. So when I turn on the lights I say Licht an and when I turn off the lights I say Licht aus and he always performs the O key press and I can say the real commandos uh, into my voice attack. Um, in the English videos I also saw that uh, these things can also be done by the text-to-speak options. So if I do um, a semicolon and a space press um, here in my, uh, in my window and I put server other words inside like OK, quit or something else and I just write them hinter, uh, um, um, one after another. Always be, uh, there should be a semicolon that uh, the program will decide to pick one of these words. Not everything. So um, the conversation is more bright. It's not always the same. You say one thing and the computer always uh, gives you the same answer. Um, no, the computer is going, going to give you all the options which uh, you define here within these windows but only one uh, which is uh, then chosen between all the words which are separated by the semicolon and the space press. I didn't get this to work with uh, the German um, language here in Windows but I've seen uh, in the English videos it works perfectly. Um, I will try a little bit but maybe you if you're running on an English system you can try this. Um, yes, these are multi-part commandos. And last but not least, uh, the macro command. As you recognized uh, during the video, I spoke the word checklist, which means almost the same in English, which is checklist. 
and then he does the following. Here you see the full uh, macro commandos. It looks very difficult, but in the end it's very, very easy to set uh, these things up. Because if you look here, I put on in a text-to-speak commando saying uh, testing light system, at a pause, just to get a nice, uh, um, how is it spelled in English, doesn't matter. Um, I want to pause to give him time to perform uh, the text-to-speak options. Um, so I add this pause by clicking on the pause button on the left side. And here I can define how long the pause should be. In this case I put it to one second, say OK, he adds another pause. Um, after this second, uh, I want him to press the O key for one second and then release it. This turns the light off. After that he performed an hour, another pause and then he pressed the O key for one second again and turned the light on. And after that he said, light test done. To give him time to speak, uh, light test done, I uh, added a pause for three seconds and then he pressed the F2 key which I can apply by this key press commando. So I let him press the F2 key and hold it for one second. And after he released it, uh, he puts out a text-to-speak commando weapon system overview, weapons are ready. This is a little bit longer than the other words he has to speak, so I added a second of uh, a five second pause to it. And then he pressed the F3 key for one second and gave me an announcement that my energy system is also operational and uh, that it's balanced. That's a very long sentence. That's why I added a pause of seven seconds. Then he pressed the F4 key to give me an overview of my shield system and give me an announcement. Another pause to let him uh, speak. Then I gave him a set him here, he has to push uh, the F1 key to return to the status monitor. And after that I wanted him to test it my engines. Well, to accelerate is uh, the W key, as I told you before. And I said, press the W key, hold it for 0.1 seconds and then release it. So he pushed the button on my on my commander checklist and uh, that means the ship will accelerate for 0.1 seconds which is about 10 percent of uh, my maximum speed then i said pause because i want him to fly straight ahead for uh, two seconds and then press the s key which is to deaccelerate for also 0.1 seconds and then release the button which means he should uh, decrease my speed as long as he accelerated before. Uh, now, sometimes that's not so accurate. That's uh, why I also said, please press also afterwards the space key, which is the Newtonian break within Star Citizen, just to make sure that my ship comes to a full stop before he performs the weapon testing. Well, weapon testing is also quite simple. It's just not a key press, it's a mouse press on the left button. As you may know, to fire your first uh, weapon system, it's uh, the left mouse button. The right mouse button then performs uh, the second fire group. And the uh, middle mouse button performs uh, the rockets. So I said, just said to him, press uh, the left mouse button, then give him a little pause press uh, then the right mouse button, make a short pause, and after you fired all my weapons, please say weapons ready. Then I give him again a little pause, and then I give him uh, the text-to-speak announcement that my Anvil Aerospace Hornet is fully operational at, at, at my service. Sorry. Um, well, that was the whole macro. As you can see, it's not very difficult. You just need to know what kind of uh, buttons have to be pushed and maybe add some uh, pauses to give uh, the system enough time to uh, end uh, the text-to-speak commandos. And uh, what I want to show you at last is how you perform uh, mouse clicks with the voice attacks. It's almost the same than performing uh, key presses. And let me show you here, you find the mouse commandos. Let me show you the mouse action window. You will find it here. So you can do everything you can do with the mouse also with the voice attack. You can move the mouse to the left. And maybe to give you some kind of inspiration, 
you can make a strafe if you are facing a rocket which is flying next to you. Um, maybe you want to decouple them by pressing the control key as a modifier and then the caps lock button to get into the decouple modus and then you want to perform a smooth uh, move to the left. Then you can write your own a commando which is called decoupled and put inside this window here a key press for the control button. Remember to uh, keep it uh, pressed while uh, you add another commando to uh, push and release the caps lock button to modify your uh, flight settings and then say to him that he should release the control button because you've uh, changed into decouple mode now and then add another commando as a mouse commando and give him a strafe to the left for 50 or 100 pixels and then say this is uh, the commando I want to perform so you have, a, have a, a move to the left as a strafe and you have also uh, changed yourself into decouple mode maybe if you want to do it at the, as a whole you can say him to return back from a uh, couple uh, decoupled into coupled modus also and you only have to speak one word and all these commandos will perform right after another just to let you know what can be done within a voice attack well also you can uh, perform uh, mouse clicks as we did it in the video the left mouse button fires uh, the first fire group the second uh, right mouse button fires uh, the second fire group and you can also click the middle button which means that you can lock on a target and uh, with another click you can shoot your missile also here you can maybe make a macro uh, perform a middle click to uh, lock on the target then give him a pause just make sure that you give him enough time maybe five seconds to lock on the target and afterwards please say to him that he should click the mouse button again the middle mouse button and then he will fire your rocket so we have all the options you need to do for uh, locking a target and to fire your missile within one macro with uh, one voice bound commando um, you can also perform double click actions where it's needful and you can also scroll your mouse wheel which is the zoom function within uh, Star Citizen at the moment. So I made myself a small commando called Zoom and then he performs uh, the action to scroll my mouse wheel forward by three clicks and when I say zoom back he performs a scroll back uh, option for three clicks so that I'm in normal view again. This is maybe another option which you may add to your uh, own profile and with that I also announced some mouse actions to you which you may use and you have seen them in the video and now you see a full macro commando with the mouse button commandos here at uh, the edit window. Well that's all so far. These are the commandos you can use uh, within voice attack which uh, are also supported by Star Citizen so far. Remember that you can add key presses, uh, mouse actions, you can add pauses to let the system run text-to-speak announcements. Uh, these can be found over the other button and with the recorder button give it a try you can add several commandos one after another maybe I will do this in another video but I think with uh, these options you are able to perform all the stuff you can do in Star Citizen at the moment well that's it so far I hope you uh, liked my introduction into Star Citizen and voice attack um, feel free to uh, like the, the videos um, at last I want to show you where you get all these commandos which we are working with. As far as you know with the Rena commander comes a short manual which you can find on uh, the website or maybe in your um, uh, on your computer already. It looks like this. This is uh, the de default keyboard layout. It's on the lower part of uh, the full manual and there you get all the um, default buttons which can be pressed at the moment and uh, the action it performs then. So maybe think about putting the overviews uh, for the ship systems, the energy and the fuel systems or maybe you want to toggle the lights like I did it in the video by pressing the O key or you want to perform a break by pressing the space key. Maybe you want to eject on a special voice commando. Um, very useful is also to target uh, and cycle through to 
lock and cycle through the targets. Um, maybe you will use a commando like next target and you want uh, Vojtatic to press uh, the R key then for a short period of time and release it so you can get a uh, lock on the next target. Or maybe you want to do a macro by pushing the control key which is, uh, is uh, the modifier and also pushing the caps lock key afterwards or uh, um, <coughs> simultaneously to switch through a um, couple decoupled G save and com step motors. Um, that's also possible. Maybe you want to put uh, the countermeasure and the cycle of the countermeasures on uh, some kind of voice command. This all belongs to you. Um, the match uh, target velocity is also very useful. When you're approaching on a target, simply say the word uh, approach or whatever you want, and um, the speed is matched up uh, with your target. There are so many options what you can do. Um, I may ask you to have a look at the forums um, and the Arena Commander forum, and maybe on YouTube look for a different Star Citizen and Voice Commando uh, Voice Attack uh, videos. Um, you will find several profiles for Voice Attack which you can download and implant, very simple, because if you open up here your mm, profile drop-down menu, you find the option to import profiles here. So simply save uh, the downloaded profile somewhere on, on your computer, click import profile and then look for it. It should be some kind of VCD, VCA uh, voice attack profile and uh, yeah, then you can open it um, with a normal button and uh, the already performed uh, com profile commandos are inside here. And then you can at least copy it to one of your profiles and check it out there. You can edit uh, these profiles uh, that they also match up with your language. Um, just give it a try. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. And uh, let's see what the future brings. I'm at next. I will investigate how to launch different things uh, on uh, voice attack commandos, like maybe launch my Winamp and play music, or maybe to launch uh, some kind of wave, um, um, like R2D2 uh, beeps, maybe. Uh, for a feedback when I give uh, the computer a commando. Um, things I will try in the next days and if things get to work I will make a new video and inform you how this may happen. So I say goodbye and I hope you enjoyed our